February 2011. A wave of mass protests leads to the ousting of Egyptian leader Hosni Mubarak after 30 years in power. Like most broadcasters, the Qatari-backed TV channel Al Jazeera extensively covered this historic event and the Arab Spring that swept across the Middle East. But fast forward six years and its coverage of the events is one reason Al Jazeera itself has become a target among Qatar's rivals in the region. The tiny Gulf state was recently given a list of 13 demands by Arab states including Saudi Arabia, Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, which they said Qatar must meet in order to end the border closures and diplomatic isolation imposed on the country in early June. The Gulf country's demands include curbing ties with Iran, paying reparations and shutting down Al Jazeera. So why has the TV channel become embroiled in this dispute? Well, Al Jazeera has been a thorn in the side of uh, many countries in the Middle East since its formation in 1996. Now, within this crisis, Al Jazeera is seen as one of the key aspects of Qatar's foreign policy and one of the key aspects that they want to curb, particularly because during the Arab Spring, Al Jazeera was seen as one of the elements that really fueled uh, the unrest. And so they're, they're, therefore they're hoping that by bringing Al Jazeera to account, they'll be able to curb some of Qatar's behavior as well in the region. Qatar has uh, backed political is Islamic groups, political Islam. They've backed the Muslim Brotherhood. And Al Jazeera, which Qatar, the Qatar royal family funds, is a key aspect of, uh, you know, of that um, backing of Islamism in the region. But the demand for Qatar to close Al Jazeera and its affiliates didn't explicitly state whether that includes its English version channel, which has expanded across the globe. There's an important distinction between Jazeera English and Jazeera Arabic. Jazeera English is a lot more balanced. It doesn't, act, it doesn't really follow a government line per se. Jazeera Arabic certainly does. It is more of an arm of Qatari foreign policy. A lot of the criticism in the recent years of, of Jazeera Arabic has been that uh, it's been a lot more sympathetic towards Islamist groups, and that has certainly been the case, but it does correspond to the foreign policy of Qatar. Uh, it is, of course, hypocritical for Qatar's neighbors to be saying, you have to shut down uh, Jazeera, because they also have uh, stations, channels um, that adopt their own foreign policy. Al Jazeera is perceived differently by many in the West, though, and its English channel's global footprint has also served as a form of soft power for the tiny, gas-rich state of just 200,000 people. Al Jazeera has had an incredible impact because it was the first Arabic uh, television station which was modern, which was seen to be balanced, which was playing a kind of modern media game. I think, to be honest, most people who watched it uh, on a casual basis in the Western world probably weren't even aware that it was coming out of Qatar. But I think it did help at a secondary level for Qatar because it, it enabled them to build up a kind of global presence and I think contributed to the idea that this was a sophisticated and interesting place. Al Jazeera has denied meddling in other countries' affairs and so far has appeared to resist the calls for its closure. We don't interfere in anybody's business, we just report. If we bring guests who are uh, opposing to certain governments, uh, does that mean it is interfering in the, in the country's uh, business? No, we are pre presenting the opinion and the other opinion. Jazeera's editorial policy is going to continue the same regardless of what happened with this event. While Qatar's Gulf rivals have shut their airwaves to Al Jazeera, the channel is still being broadcast in many countries around the world, and the stalemate looks set to continue. Vanessa Kordakas, Financial Times, London.